Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. I hope that you're all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me for another Planty video. So today I'm going to be sharing with you, I think I have five, my five top favorite plants for the month of April. These are always really hard to choose, but I usually just think about which plants I've really been excited to check on every day, which plants I've been gravitating towards, um, which plants have given me beautiful new leaves or are blooming, um, just plants that I have really been extra appreciating. So yeah, I love doing these types of videos because I just get to gush about my plants to you. And I think that you guys really enjoy seeing them as well. So without further ado, here are my five top favorite plants for the month of April. All right, so the first one is a big one <laughs> and it is my peace lily. This is my peace lily domino or spathophyllum domino, which is a variety of variegated peace lily. And as you can see, she is just so lush and beautiful. She is actually blooming right now. She has one, two, three blooms and she's very happy. I recently repotted her. I actually think I posted it on TikTok. So go follow me on TikTok if you're not already. Um, but yeah, so she's been a lot happier in this pot and she's just always happy in general. I love this plant. Um, I know I've talked about her before because she is just so pretty, but so easy. Um, and if you just look at her variegation, like it is just so, this plant is very underrated because if you look at this leaf, you would see like this type of leaf on something that would be a really expensive, um, you know, rare house plant. But I picked this up at a local plant shop for like 17 bucks and I've just had nothing but good experiences with her. So yeah, I've had her for a couple of, or have I had her for a couple of years? Maybe for like a year or a year and a half. And she's just grown so much. She's so beautiful and bushy. And I just can't wait to see her continue to grow and thrive. Beautiful plant, amazing plant. I actually don't have a regular, uh, like a regular green peace lily, but I actually want one. Um, I think that they're so beautiful and underrated. I know people say that they're like mall plants or church plants or whatever, but I think that they're so pretty, so next i've got a couple behind me here um so the next plant that i have picked for my favorites is my philodendron gloriosum this is one of two um that i currently have and um yeah this is the bigger one so i just thought i would show this one although i have been equally i need to move for a bit to fit everything in the frame here I have been equally appreciating both of them and that is because they they have both given me new leaves like pretty much at the exact same time um, and it's funny because they seem to do that like they'll give me new leaves kind of at the same time um, but yes so this one is uh, still in sphagnum moss this is a cutting that I received in the fall and this is the newest leaf here it's just unfurled so it's still like very soft and you know lighter in color um, I think that's the last leaf that she gave me and she's just so pretty you guys i love philodendron gloriosum so much and i have had such an easy time with both of mine i've had absolutely zero problems they both grow great um yeah it's just it's just been awesome and it's just so exciting whenever they unfurl a new leaf so yeah i've just been like checking on this all the time this does live in my ikea green both of mine actually do live in my ikea greenhouse cabinet so they get very good conditions in there, um, which is probably why they're so happy. She is just doing so beautifully. So I've really been admiring her lately. And then next, I have another plant from my IKEA greenhouse cabinet, which has been doing really well. And that is my Hoya obovada. So this plant I received in, I think late September of last year. Um, and I got this from Crystal Star Nursery. It came to me with just, uh like these five lower leaves i think it's given me three since i've had it um but yeah the the leaves it came to me with they like look they like looked okay but they were nothing really special you know just you know, you know like nothing really crazy um but the leaves that it is giving me now are so pretty um look at that splashing and look at how big this is oh, it is so perfect it's still soft because it's so new um maybe it'll even grow a little bit bigger i don't know but oh my goodness i love it so much this is the um second last leaf it gave me which is quite a bit smaller but the coloring and the splashing is really beautiful as well 
oh my gosh, I think it has a little peduncle, you guys. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that like right at the stem there. Ah, it's just so cute. I love this Hoya so much. I love when people have big baskets of this. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm just admiring him all the time, you know, so um, yeah, my Hoya Obovada doing super well in the greenhouse cabinets. Um, <laughs> For some reason when I potted him up, I was like, I was so worried that he was just gonna rot or something. I don't think he had like a lot of roots or something maybe. So I only filled the terracotta pot up like halfway. Um, so yeah, he seems to be, oh, he does have roots coming out the bottom. Maybe I should repot him and like move him up a bit. Um, but yeah, he's, he's just doing awesome so far and I'm so stoked about it. Next, I have a plant that I had been giving a lot of updates on on my Instagram story, and that is my ZZ Raven. Um, so this plant, this plant is just, it's just special to me, okay? Because this is, it is one stem. This is the only stem that it currently has. And I bought this as a small cutting. I think it was two stems when I bought it um, a year and a half ago. One stem immediately died. The second one just slowly deteriorated over the span of like a year. Um, and as that stem was dying, it pushed out this little growth point that turned into this. And I was just like hoping and hoping that it was gonna grow um, and just like waiting for something to happen. And it honestly, it took so long. Like it took like six months for this to actually come out and turn into a stalk. Um, but yeah, basically long story short, I waited for a year and a half for this one uh, new growth stalk to um, be produced by that plant. Um, it's lost both of its, you know, stalks that it came to me with. And I bought this back before these were like popping up at Lowe's. Like now you can go and pick one up. But I was too stubborn to do that. I was like, oh, I can go, you know, for 20 bucks to buy a full pot of this. But I was just so, I was just, but I was just so hellbent on growing the like stock that I already had. And now it is beautiful. Um, I don't know how well it's showing up on camera, but it's basically just uh, turned black. Uh, the ZZ Raven is really cool because the new growth comes out like a bright lime green and then it fades to black. So it's still got like some green bits, but for the most part, the leaves are very dark now. They're still so shiny. It's so beautiful and new and fresh. Um, yeah, so I've just really been appreciating this and um, yeah, it's just so cool. You know, there's, there's, yes, you get a rush when you are able to buy a full beautiful plant, but it's just so rewarding to grow something small, like basically from scratch and you put like a lot of time and energy into it and just watch the whole process happen. So that's basically why I've been appreciating this one so much. All right, so the last plant I have to show you is another Hoya, and this is a Hoya that I hauled a couple of months ago. This is Hoya Bordenii, and I love this Hoya as soon as I unboxed it, just because its leaves are so unique and interesting, and the color is so cool because of the sun stressing, and they're just like, they're just weird and different and wonky, um, so that's why I dig it, but the reason I have been especially loving it is because it has given me these two new leaves recently. So this one and this one are new. They're still in the process of kind of growing and hardening off and everything. But I was just so stoked to see that new growth coming in. Um, I did post like a couple of Hoya hauls uh, a couple of months ago now. And out of all the Hoya that I got, this was the one that just like started growing right away. So it was just so cool to see and so rewarding. And I'm just so happy to see that he's doing well. They're actually all doing well. Yeah, but this one I've just been especially, especially admiring. And he's just potted in soil. I actually just dumped a bunch of his soil out by accident when I grabbed him off of the shelf. So I have a mess to clean up after this video. But um, yeah, doing great, doing great. We love to see it. All right, guys, that was my top five plants for the month of April. I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Not only would I love to chat with you, but it really helps me out on the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you would like to be notified whenever I upload, make sure you turn the bell on. And what else, what else, what else? Subscribe to my channel for more plenty content if you haven't. Okay, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.